Hi everyone. Hey. It's okay to take off your mask when you're in your studio. And make sure to use this one when you're going outside. Um, again, hi everyone. This is Dino Pahao from Philippines. Watercolorist, uh, artist and architect preparation. In these trying times, wishing you each and everyone safety and um, in good health. Also thanking ROR, ROAR, Roar Studios for the invitation to share some ideas that somehow uh, keep artists busy and stay connected to our community and fellow artists as well. Okay, while on quarantine, we know that most of us are eager to go out. Some of us may be bored at home, but you know, a lot of things we can do at home, especially for artists. We, we, we can um, take time to check their painting tools, uh, probably do in inventory, and uh, probably check on all the reference photos for upcoming projects or new paintings. Of course, um, to the brushes, you might as well check whether there are paints that dries up, needs to be cleaned up. I'm always asked what are the basic essential tools for painting. Maybe we can discuss that one to there. I'm always asked about the basic painting material tools. Um, let's start with the brushes. Actually, I'm going to show you show you here my brushes. It's quite a lot. You might be overwhelmed, but you don't need to have all of this. I mean, for a basics. I mean, for a starter kit, all you have to do is uh, all you have to have is small, medium, and large brush for a painting that uh, probably as big as this. Then you're ready to go. But um, it can be useful if you have uh, flat brushes for the background, like this. It gives you a clean wash, and then. I have also a rigger brush, like this, for lines. You're free to go with the tree brush. And then, um, if budget permits, then you can upgrade. For the paper, remember, if you're having a commission pieces, try to use the archival materials, archival paper, and also paints. Um, I normally use either cold press or rough for my paintings. I like the texture. The thicker the paper, um, the better. I like to use 300 grams um, papers, thicker. And then if you wanted to use 140 pounds paper, you might as well stretch it. Uh, let's talk about the paint. Paints. Okay. For a start, you can use the basic primary colors. Yellow, blue, and red. And then, these three can go for the full spectrum of colors. If you wanted to add more texture to your paints or to your painting, you might as well consider the primatic paints by Dennis Smith. Like if you wanted to paint rust or the texture of the concrete, um, try to use granulating colors. 